Hello everyone and welcome back to Conversations with Ronan. I'm your host, I'm Ronan, and for this week's edition, I'm gonna talk a little bit of DC and Disney related news. Now it's been official that for Man of Steel or the the, the, the series of Man of Steel, it's gonna be getting its sequel, Man of Steel 2. Now everyone's wondering when is it gonna when are they gonna start shooting when 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 is it gonna be released? They haven't released a single date or synopsis. All all they say is that that the sequel to Man of Steel has been active activated and it's now in development. Now, am I excited to go see Man of Steel two? Yes. How excited? The optimistic version. And when I say that, I mean that I have no clue where they're gonna head out. And it's going to be a big Hail Mary to see how they could win back a lot of the fans that thought that Superman was mishandled in Man of Steel and super mishandled in um, BVS, Dawn of Justice. I do not count that movie as Batman vs. Superman because even though they fight for like 8 minutes, I don't count it. But all I could think to myself, and this is just my opinion, everyone's entitled to their own, that what I would have preferred... It would have happened if I was, you know, you know what? You should do this. I think that they should have saved up what they did. And spoilers for those who haven't seen Donald Justice killed off Superman. I think they should have hold that off until Man of Steel 2 for this sequel of Man of Steel. They should have hold it off. They should have shown or brought him into the real world in Man of Steel, which it's debatable whether, debatable whether it was good or bad movie. I, I, I liked it. But um, we should have built. They should. Well, in my opinion, they should have built him up, show him. Oh, he's not perfect. Going on in BBS, prove people that aren't that big Superman fans like myself. I am a fan, but not better than Batman. Again, my opinion. They should have proved people. You know what? There's more to more to justice than just the darkness way, than working in the dark. There's light. There's hope. There's Optimism, optim, being optimistic and whatnot, doing it by the book. They should have done that and be and and be being like, wow, you know what? It'd be wonderful of what's happening now in real life, like Trump and Hillary and police shootings and the Black Lives Matter, all this chaos that's happening in the real world. If they would have done it step by step, progressed the the character instead of just killing them off. And the second film of the DC Cinematic Universe. Build them up and make people like me say, you know what? It would be cool if Superman was real. Instead of, you know, oof, thank God he's not real, you know. He should be in therapy and whatnot. They should have kept him up building up. And then in the Man of Steel 2, kill him. Kill him. Bring Doomsday in there to kill him or not. Whether the, the, the choice of, of having Doomsday in Donald Justice was a bad idea is debatable. I think that the, 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 the idea of Doomsday would have been great to set up in there. To see, well, are they going to kill him off soon? Or, you know, is he going to... Who knows? My version would have been kill him off in Man of Steel 2. Have people me, like me crying. Like, no, they killed him off. And take it off from there. Don't show us whether he will return or not. And then... Bam, bring him back. Now that I got all the, the, you know, my way would have been, you know, I am optimistic and hopeful. And I do really wish the best to Henry Cavill and whoever's going to be working on it. I think, believe, Jeff Johns, the who's now president of, of, of DC Entertainment now, is going to produce or ex- executive produce it. I don't know. I wish him the best and just don't, don't get... Hit by critics in Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> but, yeah, so, good luck. Now, let's see what is up. Okay, so, sticking off is just with DC right now is the future of the ver- our, our new version of The Joker by Jared Leto. Now, I have seen Suicide Squad. I've seen it, and I've done a review, which you guys could check out on after this or before this. I thought what I saw of him so far, which was five to ten minutes within the film, whether it was flashbacks or actually in the current scene of the, of the film, I thought he was 
uh, freaky, uh, creepy than any other uh, Joker that I, I have seen. And uh, I could have judged him more better, or not judged him. I don't. I'm not seeing that word. I could have had my full point of view on Jared Leto's take on the Joker if they were showing us a little bit more. The movie was two hours and three minutes. And a lot, a lot of people were saying, you know what? No, you should have just, that's fine. You know, if not, it would have been a whole Joker movie and whatnot. I, I may, might be able to argue that, even though it is about the Suicide Squad and there should be a villain. And I did like the villain of Enchantress. I did like it. But they should have, in my opinion, should have given just at least five or ten more minutes of the chemistry of why does why does this Joker exist now in this DC universe or you know extended universe and what's the, the 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 boundaries of or the relationship between Harley and Joker? I know the origins. I know the relationship. I haven't that much problem. What I would like to see. Um, what I would have loved to see more. Hell yes, but I'm not a movie movie director or movie maker. But um, after the release of the film premiered, there was a lot of speculation whether Little was happy that they cut out a bunch of his scenes that originally was in the the, the movie, and whether he where he sees himself and whatnot. And from what I've heard on, on critics and articles, is that he is not happy that he got cut out most of of most of his scenes and he's just hoping that he might be in the next Batman standalone film that's being written, directed and produced and starred by Ben Affleck and I know that he I think it was a few hours ago that he, he threw the idea of messing with Superman Henry Cowell Superman which I would dig I'd like to see Henry Cowell just standing there and then Joker trying to be all pimp and you know and then boom <clears throat> You know, I don't know. We'll we'll see that. But I want to see more. I want to see more, and I think we all should see a little bit more before we say "fuck him" or "yes." You know, show us a little bit more. But that's where I stand. And to finish off the the, the topics within DC is that they just announced the main villain for Aquaman in his own standalone film, and it's his arch nemesis, Black Manta. Now. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't know that much history of Aquaman besides his real name, Arthur Curry. And that he is part human and part uh, ocean ocean mermaid man, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I do not know the, the main backstory of Black Manta. But I remember growing up seeing the animated series or seeing the comics now. And taking a look at Aquaman's main villain. Every hero has his, has his own foe. Batman, Joker. Uh, Superman, Lex Luthor. Aquaman has a Black Manta. When I saw the suit, the design of the character, I just said, badass. Badass. So I'm excited for it. Um, I will be trying to do my best to keep up or, or no, get more knowledge of Aquaman and his, his own world and his own nemesis like Black Manta. And hopefully before the trailer drops, I would have a little bit more knowledge about it. People were, were pe- you know, people were debating, you know, what should be cast and whatnot. And I know someone threw in the idea of Idris Elba. That if, you know, first of all, we all want to see him as uh, John Stewart, Green Lantern. I remember hearing if he's not gonna be John Stewart, Green Lantern, then he should be Black Manta. Now I saw Star Trek Beyond. I love the film. I love. Idris Elba's performance as Crawl. I am couching on it. I like the design of the costume and what he, you know, spoilers. He, he I remember he, in, her, in order to keep the creature face himself formed, instead of going back to like a freakish human, he would strap, you know, members of Starfleet and like juice him out, like kill him while absorbing their energy. And I thought that behavior, behavior, and the the look would be perfect for Black Manta. From what I've seen, visually seen of the, of the character, I think that'd be interesting. But yeah, I am excited to see what they do with Black Manta and Aquaman. Now, switching off to Disney, Disney um, news. 
when I say Disney, it's stuff that Disney owns. I'm not talking about Big Mouse and Goofy and Donald. I'm talking about both Lucasfilm and Marvel. Now, they just announced, or I guess someone leaked the info, that Winter Soldier has been confirmed for the Marvel side to appear in Infinity War. Now, spoilers for those who haven't seen Civil War. Come on. He was last seen losing his arm, leaving with his with his friend Steve Rogers, and then in the end credit scene, you see him being refrozen again, but in a safe, harmless environment in Wakanda. Now, from what we saw and what we know is that the scientists of Wakanda are gonna try to extract all the things that you know. Mission report. December 16th, you know, December, you know, all the all the crazy Winter Soldier activities that Bucky has in his mind. And I am interested to see if they accomplish that or is Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier going to be a wild card for the Avengers side of, you know, he'll fight with us, but who knows if he'll go ballistic and whatnot. But that's exciting. Exciting to see that, that Bucky is coming back or the Winter Soldier is returning. Now to wrap it up for this, just, sorry guys, just a short edition. You know, this not much news, and I have to head out right now. Is Star Wars related? Now tonight or tomorrow, depending on where I can get this video uploaded, they're gonna be releasing a new trailer for Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Now for those who have seen my Rogue One TV spot reaction, you could. Tell, or if you haven't seen it, check it out. You could tell that I was disappointed with what they showed. What they showed was the same thing that we have seen before. Now, was I dis disappointed? Yes. Do I think the movie's going to suck? No. Am I going to go see it? Hell yes. Do you want to see new stuff, but not the whole film and this new trailer? Absolutely. So, hopefully, tomorrow, uh, they show us, or tomorrow tonight, depending on when, when this video goes up, they'll show us some new stuff. And maybe Vader breathing or turn the lightsaber off. I'd freak out. Hopefully they'll show us something cool or not. And I will be doing a reaction towards that trailer. So subscribe or stay tuned just to see my, my reaction of the film, of the trailer. And that'll be it for, t to, for tonight, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked the video... Hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.